Thank you, Aaron. Next year's Senate race in Arizona will also be closely watched, with a potential three-way battle between newly independent Senator Kirsten Sinema, Democratic Representative Ruben Gallego, and Carrie Lake, the 2022 Republican nominee for governor. But it's not the only campaign likely to spark fireworks, as Rene Romo reports from our Washington Bureau. Three failed candidates from 2022, two who were here at the U.S. Capitol on January 6th, one ex-congressman. And that's just a sampling of over 50 hopefuls who have filed their paperwork so far seeking four battleground house seats next year. Grab your popcorn, pull up your chair because you are going to be in for a, a world of fun watching that race. He was talking about the race to succeed Representative Debbie Lesko, who will not run in 2024. With Congressman Ruben Gallego running for Senate, that's two House seats up for grabs. So far, 34 people are lined up to run in the safely Republican and Democratic districts. Gallego's seat and Lesko's seat are just going to be interesting races because you have some interesting and big personalities in them. But they're not nationally significant because they're preordained. The national attention will be focused on races for seats held by GOP Congressman David Schweiker and Juan Siscomani. They have been identified as among the most vulnerable in the country with control of the House at stake. You're going to have those two uh, su sucking up a lot of political oxygen because of what's at stake nationally. While Lesko's and Gallego's successors will likely be determined in the primary, Schweiker and Siscomani represent much more competitive districts, which gives Democrats a chance to flip two Republican seats. Experts say a law is riding on Schweikert's seat. Ultimately, Schweikert's seat will be one of the most watched races in the country because the road to the White House goes through Arizona and the road to Arizona goes through that portion of Maricopa County. Benz and others agree that Arizona's House races will be very heated next year. It's got a little bit of everything, frankly, in this one. Uh, it, it's made for reality TV. But high-profile races are nothing new for Arizona, with one expert noting that the state has been a battleground for federal elections since at least 2018. In Washington, Renee Romo, Cronkite News.